Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and staying safe and staying home. So today we are going to do very interesting thing. So I'll just show you what we are going to do and then I'll tell you how we are going to do it. So we are going to do this today. It's a beautiful tree art you can say or whatever you want to name this, you can name this. So um, in this one what we are going to do is we are going to add as many colors as possible in our trees. And we are going to divide our trunk into various sections and doodle it in a, inside those parts and first of all color them and then doodle it with black pen or any other pen you want to and it will look so beautiful and you can even frame this so I'm using a A4 size sheet you can use A4 size sheet also and you can even use, do it in, on your art files so let's begin you can use any color you want you can use poster colors you can use watercolors you can use watercolor pencils you can use water uh, pencil colors brush pens sketch pens okay so first we are going to make three trees and don't forget to add branches okay Or what you can do is you can just add make two lines and then erase the part in between to add branches okay make sure it should be the stem the trunk should be a bit thick not too thin or too thick okay one Similarly, this one. Okay, the branches should not overlap each other. Just be careful with that. And in every section, you're going to doodle or make patterns, different, different patterns. Now the third one. So everything will be done with pencil and we'll outline it later. Now once you're done with this, you're going to add, you're going to divide it into various sections. Okay, just divide it with the pencil. Just make one line so that <clears throat> while coloring, you're not confused in what area, what you want to color. Okay, and then you're going to use, I'm going to use your watercolors, here is my palette. And do wash your brushes once you're done. And don't uh, make your area very much messed up. Or just keep a newspaper on your table or study table, wherever you want to color. Okay, you can even add some leaves near the branches with pencil. Or you can, what you can do is directly with the brush, you can add leaves. So I'll just show you some part and then I'll show this image for you all to refer. So there are some patterns also if you want to refer some patterns. You can just randomly mix some colors. Okay. No need to uh, make use directly any any color you want. You have just mix some color. Different different colors you have. Okay. And just apply. So here are this some mixed up color and I thought that I, sh I shouldn't repeat this color. So I have this color so much. So I thought I'll just repeat in this part also. Okay and for the branches you're going to take brown. For every branch you're going to take brown color. Okay. And I'll just add some red in this part. Some yellow. Okay. And this way you're going to keep on adding. What you can do is, if you have sketch pens with you, so instead of coloring some parts, you can just directly doodle it with sketch pen. Like you can just make some lines. 
or make some patterns inside each section or part and what I was saying about the leaves just take a thin brush take green color or any shade of green and just add some leaves around with different different shades of green light green dark green okay and once this is completely dried then take any black pen ball pen gel pen anything and just doodle it okay let's see if it is dried or not yes so i'll just make lines and i'll just try to scribble some circles inside it Just be careful that the base should be completely dried if you're using water based colors or use ball pen instead. Okay, so this way you can do, you can even use pencil colors in this, or you can even use all the colors all together, like watercolors, poster colors, pencil colors, sketch pens, all the things all together. And your artwork will look something like this. Okay, just take, just take a look here. And try to make something like this or you can even add your patterns so here I've added the spiral part here I've added this fish tail part and uh, here I have just scribbled in this one I just scribbled so yes and then this one what I've done is I've done the base with watercolor and on top of this orange is oil pastel I just mark the line and see the oil pastel is giving us such a good texture okay so you can do this with different different things all together you can even use brush pens if you have and finally outline your work with black sketch pen or black ball pen or gel pen or anything okay so be complete your works show and then share the images with me and have a great day enjoy your day have fun Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.